afternoon, gentlemen, and welcome to the press session here with Wendy's captain, Jason Bola. Yep. First, uh, Jason mm -hmm. um, saw an email come out the other day about um, one Kimar Roach rested. Um, how much of a big miss for leaving? Yeah, Kimar is obviously one of our leading fast bowlers for the last couple of months. Um, it's just unfortunate what happened in um, Antigua. You know, he just had a, a slight hamstring strain, and we just you know took the precautionary route in terms of resting him and bringing out Zaris cover. How did that affect the team? You believe? Um, yeah, it's, Kimar is obviously a big loss. He's been doing well, us, especially with the new ball and also coming back and getting wickets. You know, he obviously got five wickets the last time he, he, he went running in both of us. Um, yeah, but we've got you know more than able replacements in, in, in the squad. I think Kimar Paul is a, is a more than capable replacement. And then you've got Alzari as another option. So we'll see what happens tomorrow morning. Do you think young Alzari just can get the job done for you? Yeah, he can. You know, if selected, you know, he can. I think if if Kimo selected as well, he can get the job done as well. You know, I guess we'll make the final determination tomorrow morning as we as we come down for the test match. Okay, since you're appointed, I've been appointed captain in 2015. Are you happy with the team's progress and contented with the progress? Yeah, I think we're heading in the right direction in terms of our test cricket. Um, you know, we're competing a lot more in series. You know, winning a lot more test matches. It's just about clinching the series now. You know, we've got ourselves in a position to clinch another series. Um, you know, we did in Zimbabwe last time and we fell short in the last series against Sri Lanka. So all to play for here in Sabina Park and you know, the guys are really up for it. Yeah, a few weeks ago you would have had a fast bowling camp where reaping the rewards um, first against Sri Lanka, now Bangladesh. We've also seen quicker wickets. Is that now the way to go as far as West Indies cricket? Quick wickets, um, quick pace? Yeah, we've been trying to put, put a lot of work into our infrastructure in terms of our de development as well. You know, we, we had a fast bowling clinic for the, some young fast bowlers and promising fast bowlers who we feel as though could replace any of our senior fast bowlers. And, you know, it seems to be, you know, reaping the, the, the benefits so far. Um, you know, hopefully things like this here could continue in the, in the not too distant future and we could continue to put things in place to develop our, our talent in the Caribbean. Um, in terms of the wickets, you know, we've been seeing a bit more grass cover on, on the wickets, which is sometimes encouraging for the faster bowlers as well. You know, but um, in terms of the consistency and carry, I think we still need to, to improve a little bit more there, but I think we, we're still improving in terms of the wickets that we produce. How much do you believe this Bangladesh this team will uh, make a comeback? No, I definitely believe Bangladesh will come hard at us. You know, obviously what happened in the last test match isn't something that they're, they're accustomed to. Um, and we got the better of them obviously in the last test match, so it's a case where they don't want to lose the series. So I expect them to come, you know, up pumped and you know ready to go tomorrow to, to beat us. I previously you stated that you had some concerns with the top order batting. It seems to be clicking now. Are you happy with that? Well, they just had one test match, you know, after after the, the dismal performance there in Barbados. But you know, it's it's good to see the batsmen spending time in the middle. You know, it's always encouraging for us. You know, and hopefully the top order can lead the way here at Sabrina Park again. You know, whether we bat first or bowl first is important. We put up a really good first in this total. It's something that we really stress upon in the dress room. So, yeah, another opportunity for the batters to, to put their hands up. And that said, what kind of wicket are you expecting here? Well, it seems to have a bit of grass on it. it seems firm, you know. So I expect, you know. The, the pitch to be a little more consistent than probably the ones we've played on previously. You know, but I guess we've made our determination as we see it playing um, tomorrow morning. Yeah, and, and of course, um, about the batting lineup, we would have seen Devon Smith coming in. Um, Powell moving down to three, has that anyhow disrupted the, the batting flow with the team? Ah, I, I wouldn't say that. You know, um, you know, both Powell and Devon have gotten starts you know, throughout this entire home series leg um, in terms of the Sri Lanka series and the Bangladesh series. So I wouldn't say it has affected them. In the, I guess the problem that we've had is the conversion. You know, most of them getting in and, and, and getting out. So it's just a matter of the batsmen to knock it down and fight a little harder, especially at the, the middle stages of their innings in terms of carrying on a few more of these starts that they've gotten. Yeah. Um, final from me, I'm Shimran Hepmar, a young soda, made his debut here at Savannah Park, has gone through a little bit of a rough patch. How do you, someone like you, have seen it in the team now, keep someone like him motivated? Yeah, he's a, he's a young, talented batsman, you know, he's done well um, in first class cricket, you know, he's done well in a lot of tour team games that we've had. And you know, I think it justifies why why he's here. You know, it's obviously had a, a pretty tough time when it's at the beginning of career, at the beginning of his career. Sorry, uh, I guess some some good players, you know, start that way and then they pick themselves up at the at the spend more time at this level. You know, I hoping that. Hetty's one of those people who, you know, who follow, follows that pattern. You know, obviously he didn't have the best of starts to international cricket, you know, but we have the full support behind him, and I think he's one that will learn quickly, and hopefully, if given the opportunity, he'll come up and put his hand up and score some runs for us. And just a final one from me, from three players: Chase, Bradway, and Bishu. Your take on their form? 
Um, yeah, Chase probably hasn't gotten the runs he's been looking for, you know, but I think the beauty about his, his career is that he's done well here at Sabina Park, you know, um, he's gotten 100 here, he's gotten 5 wicket haul here, so, you know, hopefully this could be his fortress in terms of turning his form around, it's the last test match of our home tour, and, you know, hopefully he can get some runs for us in terms of Bishu, uh, probably hasn't been required as much as we probably would have expected, I think the seamers have done an outstanding job and got him most of the wickets for us, you know, um, I just think it's a situation if needed and if called upon in this test match you know he just needs to settle and, and get himself back into a rhythm uh, and and Craig you know I'm not not too disheartened with Craig you know he got 100 in the last game you know he's showing you know um, that he's still the rock in, in our in our top order you know he's got seven test centuries and he's probably got the, the best average in, in terms of our top order as well so, you know, so I have full confidence behind him you know I call him my banker because he's one of the guys who really lays down the foundation for us majority of the time you know um, despite he hasn't gotten I guess the bulk of the runs he, he's been looking for I still think he, he looks in really good nick and I got 100 last game so I'm hoping that he c carries on that form. Your own form Jason, bat and ball? Yeah, I feel good, you know, I feel pretty good, you know, um, things have been going you know, reasonably well for me. Um, it's just been a situation where things have settled on a lot for me and, um, you know, just trying to manage my body as best as possible. It's been a tough workload on me, both I'm mean, having to bat and bowl, you know, and, and just obviously being in the field as well. So I think my biggest thing is just to manage my body and, and try not to get burnt out. You spoke about clinch in the series, you know, how confident are you coming into this game? Very confident, you know, we've been playing some really good cricket. To beat the Bangladeshis in the last test match in three days, you know, says a lot about the, the cricket that we're playing, you know, we had a really good series against Sri Lanka I believe you know probably didn't clinch it you know, and you know we've got a few things to look back on and say well we could have corrected it here and there but um, really confident coming into this last test match here at Sabina Park and it's been a place that's done that's been been good to us in terms of our overall performances so hopefully this game should be should be no different no balls drop catches yeah I think it's, it's an improvement you know last game we had um, less no balls less drop chances so you know it's just a matter of continuing in that vein you know we probably won't most of get a perfect game, but that's that's something we always strive for. But um, in th terms of the no balls and drop catches, I've seen some improvement. And some of the commentators are saying that you're a bit too defensive and they would like to see a bit more attacking Jason Holder. What's your thoughts on that? Well, I haven't heard it, so I just probably <laughs> haven't haven't been able to deal with it. But um, no, that's just the way I go about it. You know, um, have the full support of the team and most of the decisions that we, we, we go about making is, is, a, is a collective decision, you know. So I just try to um, rub shoulders and, and, and brainstorm with a few other, te few other teammates and coaching staff and we, we make decisions. Thank you very much.